What's up? You gotta look. Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay. Okay. <sighs> All righty. Look at that cute little omni. Obviously, it'll look better once I'm done. Okay, my loves. So, it is super hot and I'm having all these issues. And probably because I haven't done my nails, like actually done my nails in a while too. So, that doesn't help any. Because, you know, your first setback is like you got to just get your groove on. Like, I would definitely not do a, like a, like a client's nail if I haven't done my nails in a while. I would definitely do my nails first before I ever uh, did a client's again. For sure. Okay, so... And I'm going to do so personally, I always make sure that the form fits on the nail properly. And if you need to put in these little slits on each side, then do so. It, it helps so that it will fit your nail properly and honestly this nail is really crooked and off you see how i bite my nail higher on this side than this side so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to um just uh go by Sight. on the sides I'm gonna have to definitely because this side is gonna already touch the nail and that side isn't so I'm going to have to build out a little bit of the nail just on my skin 
And I know some people will bitch about that, but that's how I do it, especially on nail bitten nails. Like you could literally build out a fingernail without even forms if you really wanted to. I've seen people do that. I've seen nail techs, like seasoned nail techs do that. Okay, so as long as it's straight and this side is a little, okay. So like I said, this side's not fully, so this needs to be up a little and that doesn't. So that pretty much is like straight, but um, because the nail is crooked and it like kind of grows this way a little bit, to be honest. My, this nail is definitely off, like even the, skin, the nail over here, right? is more exposed than this side. There's more skin over here. And that's how I know, like that's, this is my my nail, so I know it. And it kind of grows this way. So to straighten it out, I have to, this form is, I have to like almost have the nail, it's gonna feel like it's off, but I have to have the nail and the form kind of go this way more than what it's like it should okay because i have i want to build the nail to be straight where it's gonna look off like putting the form on right now this form looks like it's crooked but to me i want to build the nail you see how there's more nail exposed on this side i'm going to build out the acrylic this way so that it will look straight when I do my nail. Okay. I'll show you guys. But like I said, acrylic is going to have to be exposed over here more, a little more. Unless you want to do the nail crooked, which I don't, you know. Okay, so let's put. So some of the acrylic will have to just be on the the skin and that's just what it is okay so now i'm going to push this out so how are you guys doing um this one is definitely you know I feel like a lot of people don't realize like their nail is actually crooked on their finger. I realize that. So that's why I um, am doing this this way. And sometimes you can't really blame a nail tech if they aren't seasoned. You know, they just go with whatever your nail is. And if it grows crooked, they just do the nail crooked. <laughs> So sometimes I feel like people are like, oh, my nail is crooked. But it's like, no, your your nail is that. Yeah, it is crooked because your nail is actually crooked, you know, which, you know, a nail tech should be able to notice that and fix it. But, you know, not every nail tech feels like they, especially if they're doing it with um, a tip, you have to be able to like, you know, put pretty much put the tip where you feel like it's wrong almost you know because the the nail is growing that way okay so i want to i want it to be almond 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 Okay. And I just got to visualize it straight instead of only relying on the form right now, especially for this nail, just because with this nail, 
it's crooked so i have to just go by i mean i did straighten out the form so it shouldn't be too off but just in case you know you want to be able to visualize it also just in case Mm -hmm. it's so cute it's so cute it's so cute okay okay make sure see and i was able to make it look straight even though the form was technically even though my nail was growing you know like more more nail is exposed over here so it looks like it's growing this way you know so one two three to put a little more i for dinner tonight i threw in a crock pot um some chuck chuck meat with uh th like three different color potatoes like the little round baby potatoes with um just onion white onion and uh seasonings some broth and that's it that's and then i'm going to make some rice and some nice french bread on the side like some crusty french bread to um you know dip in the the gravy broth okay so i'll round that off a little more okay next i'm going to uh, my finger ooh, wrong way <laughs> my my fingers are so sweaty okay so let's do this pinch it right so pinch it and then you kind of want to see my fingers will go to one two like two and a half so like i said you want to take your scissors and one so you kind of want to cut okay one two I always cut this side off. Anyways. So. Let's do. Make sure the line is in the middle. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I need to do Now, with such a short nail, you can just go right from the cuticle and build down if you really want to. That's up to you. Like, I'll do this nail where I'm just building down. And you could literally just shape a nail that way also. because the nail is so short so you're really just shaping anyway okay 
Okay. And I'm going to that was going a little too curvy. It was like going upward. It was weird. And if these aren't dry yet, but they're really bothering, you could literally just cut it like that until it's like fully off. But it came off anyway. But yeah, if you need, you know, to get them out of your way, just do that. Alrighty. So I need to... Okay, so that's it. So you see what I'm saying? You don't have to um, really start because, I mean, the nail is so bitten anyway that you kind of don't really need to um, do a tip. You're really just covering this little piece of nail and then kind of going off from there and building out a free edge anyway. And that's it. Okay, so a little bit more. area uh. okay now pinky 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 because we're doing such a short nail that it's not like I need a lot of strength for the form. Okay. After I'm done with my nails, I'll uh, make the rice for the roast beef and the potatoes and that's it actually. It's in the crock pot. You probably didn't see it. I said you probably didn't see it because it's in the crock pot. And you don't know how to make rice. Okay. Last finger.
I keep bumping the damn phone. It's like literally in my elbow area. I need to find a different phone holder because it's really just the worst. It's not really helping any. Like I need one that's going to hold the phone from the side, but then it also like gets in my way. So from the top, it sucks too because I had one that held from the top, but then it takes up such so much of my desk because it has a weighted bottom and it's like a whole big square. So it literally like takes up so much too. All right, so I really only need like half of that. So for some reason, since my pinky is so short, I'm going to do this nail a little bit shorter because it's almost three, but I just feel like it just should not be three on the pinky. So I'm going to do a little bit shorter. Well, it's really like under two. Yeah, we're going to do a little less than three. Okay. Boom, boom. Shakalaka. need to cap these nude you do not need to cap so that's how that goes you don't need to cap nude there we go okay that's how you do it the thumb looks the ugliest, but I will take that down on each side because I did try to do something different on this one, but it just did not work. Not for these nail bit nails. Okay.